I just am looking on the PDF on an email yeah. we all just got. It's four pages long. Right. Okay, so that's okay. that's so that's space. actually that's more space. than I expected. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Space. And we're gonna, very we're gonna we're gonna it's very brief. It's four pages long, and we are gonna hopefully get a printout so that those of us who are not um, well, yeah, it's for it's 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 lengthy here from what I can see. Well, and the first page, as we expected, lays out all of the resources that were utilized throughout the course of the investigation, how many prosecutors there were, how many subpoenas. The special counsel issued more than 2,800 subpoenas. It says executed nearly 500 search mm -hmm. warrants. You know, um, go ahead. But I just want to, I just went down to um, the third page. Forgive, forgive all of us because we're obviously getting this yes. and reading it live, but this is important because. Uh, let, let me just read uh, this, uh, Jerry Nadler, this is more of Jerry Nadler's. Uh, tweets, uh, the special counsel states that while this report does not conclude that the president committed a crime, it. it also does not exonerate him. Uh, that's a potentially that's very a significant yes. statement from the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee. Uh, all of us are beginning to just go through this four-page letter uh, that, uh, the, uh, that uh, Bill Barr, the attorney general, has now sent to the U.S. Congress uh, with details on the uh, so-called principal conclusions that the special counsel Robert Mueller has provided, uh, and all of you are going through right. uh, the uh, the actual letter. Uh, we're uh, Evan Perez so is going know. through the letter. Uh, our justice correspondent as well. Uh, Evan, give us some of the, the the nuggets, some of the significant moments that you're getting from this letter. Right. Well, I think the the, the most important uh, con the most important part of this letter right now is the part that says uh, the special counsel did not find uh, that any U.S. person uh, or Trump campaign official or associate. Uh, conspired or knowingly coordinated with the IRA. This is the, the Russian troll farm. This is the, the, the Russian uh, interference effort uh, in its efforts. Although the special counsel brought criminal charges against a number of Russian nationals and entities in connection with these activities. Again, uh, one of the most important things that the special counsel was assigned uh, to investigate Wolf was whether or not uh, someone, uh, an American, someone in the, in the United States, someone part of the, the Trump campaign was part of the Russian efforts. Uh, the, 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 the information, the disinformation efforts, the interference uh, with the 2016 election. And according to this letter, uh, one of the main conclusions is that they could not find uh, evidence that anybody, any U.S. person, anybody associated with the campaign, any associate of the president uh, was involved with that disinformation campaign. And I think that's uh, a very important thing for the Justice Department to explain, for, the, for, the, for Bill Barr to explain as a result of this investigation. Obviously, uh, as you've noted uh, repeatedly, uh, Democrats want to see everything. But I think uh, the, it's very important that Bill Barr got that answer out there, uh, which is what, uh, frankly, has been looming over the presidency of Donald Trump since the day he got elected. All right, hold on for a moment. Uh, Shimon, you're getting more information yeah, yeah. from this page, four page letter. Yeah, yeah on, on the third good. page, uh, I think this will be a very, this is probably one of the most important lines in this. In making the de de determination, we noted that the special counsel recognized that the evidence does not establish that the president was involved in an underlying crime related to Russian election interference, and that while not determinative, the absence of such evidence bears upon the president's intent with, it, with uh, respect to obstruction. And, uh, so there you go. That, Those, that is the key line here right you now. You have the collusion and also obstruction of justice, and it says, I have concluded that the evidence developed during the special counsel's investigation is not sufficient to establish that the right. president committed an obstruction of justice offense. That is key. The, well, the yeah. president was, this was what all the questions surrounded the president. They've cleared Did him. he obstruct justice? But they just cleared him. But, cleared it's the also, but it also says, and it quotes the uh, special counsel saying that, quote, while this report does not conclude that the president committed a crime, it also does not exonerate right. him. And that is going to be what the <laughs> Democrats, they already be, have. That, right. that, that is going to, that's going to be the nub. Right there. Yeah. But it, what's, what you know. stands out to me in reading about the obstruction of justice and saying there wasn't the sufficient evidence to establish that is they're saying we never even had to get to the point right. of you can't indict a sitting president because we didn't have the didn't evidence have the to support it. Mm -hmm. That is key. And that might explain why they didn't pursue a subpoena against the president. That's exactly right. A subpoena against the president in order to get an interview. Exactly. In order to get an interview. And that's, exactly. really, and that's really key. That's been one of the important questions as we've been looking at this. What the Mueller team did was they got written questions and answers from the president only on the issues of collusion. Mm -hmm. Right. 
the deal was that if the team wanted to have further questions about obstruction of justice, they would have to come back. They sort of half-heartedly did come back, got a no, and then decided not to proceed with what they knew would be a court fight. And this is perhaps why. I just want to go back to the notion of obstruction of justice. Yes, this makes clear in these findings that they didn't see a case excuse me, for obstruction of justice. But then if you kind of go, go down further, it also says that to obtain and sustain an obstruction conviction, the government would need to prove beyond a reasonable exactly. doubt that a person acting with corrupt intent engaged in obstructive conduct with a sufficient nexus to a pending or contemplated proceeding. Meaning, they did not, it's not that they didn't intent. necessarily have all of the goods, they couldn't Prove it without a they, they needed it, but but and another the important point. The president has just been exonerated. I mean, can we just take yeah, a step I mean, back yeah. and <laughs> focus on the fact that right. this is a nearly two-year right. investigation that has swirled around the president since day one of his presidency, and he has just been exonerated. And, and, and it's very important to remember. Uh, and this is an important line in this letter that the determination basically saying they didn't have enough evidence to go ahead and charge the president of the United States with either obstruction or, or uh, collusion or anything along those lines. Our determination was made without regard to and is not based on the constitutional considerations that surround the indictment and criminal prosecution of a sitting That's president. Let's clarify important. something. It does say that um, there is they cannot conclude he committed a crime. It does not exonerate him. For, but for the president's purposes exactly. yeah. and for his team's right. purposes he's been right. exonerated i just want to clarify that and, and, that's and, a very important and, point and, yeah. and the line that you just read wolf is also important because what Mueller is saying here is that i i didn't decide not to indict because of the doj guidelines against indicting There's a no sitting evidence. president yeah. he said it was not based on constitutional considerations but but the case itself. He couldn't prove it beyond a reasonable Exa doubt. Exactly. As a result, uh, there exactly. were no formal charges. And it wasn't, uh, as this letter says, uh, the result of uh, the ju longtime Justice Department guidelines that mm -hmm. you can't indict exactly. uh, a sitting president. And we should note that while we're reading over all of this, on Friday when Bill Barr put out that letter saying he was going to deliver the key findings from Mueller's report to Congress this soon, as soon as this weekend, the White House was shocked by that. They were not expecting all of this to happen so quickly, and they thought it was going to be a two in its statement and then after that that is when they were going to get more information possibly weeks later after they noted that that investigation had ended so all of this is going to be a surprise to the white house and we should note that as of this morning around 10 a.m they still had not received this report or been briefed on the key findings can, from can Mueller's I, report. Can I just go back and read this key line? Ev Evan uh, mentioned some of it but this is really crucial yeah. to Pamela's point earlier. As noted above the special counsel did not find any U.S. person or Trump campaign official or associate conspired or knowingly coordinated mm -hmm. with the IRA, meaning the Russians, in its efforts, though the special counsel brought criminal charges against a number of Russian nationals. So the Russians obviously actively tried to impede the 2016 election. Mm -hmm. The Mueller team indicted uh, many of them, but not collude. And it is important. And it is, in fairness, what the president has been saying that there was no, I know collusion is not a legal term, mm -hmm. but this is the special counsel, in the words of the president's attorney general, backing up the president. It, and that is that, no small th thing. That is, this is where the White House and the president, and I think attorneys who, if his attorneys should be happy, anyone who would be representing, if he was just a regular client, would be so thrilled with mm -hmm. this report right now. This mm -hmm. is a, a win for this president who, for now, two years has essentially been screaming there was no Russia collusion. He is backed up by Mueller. He is backed up. This line, again, uh, that I, I find, and it's in quotes here, the evidence does not establish that the president was involved in an underlying crime related right. to Russian election interference. And you're saying he's backed up. They, they make it pretty clear what he's backed up by in here. It says the special counsel issued more than 2,800 subpoenas, executed mm -hmm. nearly 500 search warrants, 230 orders for communication records and almost 50 orders for authorizing the use of pen registers, 13 requests to foreign governments for evidence, and it interviewed approximately 500 witnesses. Yeah. So not only does he have the conclusion of this summary, he has all of that to back it up and point to everything. Very, very, very specific statements by 
the special counsel, Robert Mueller. Evan Perez, you've been going through it. You're getting more information. Well, Wolf, I think uh, certainly Caitlin was uh, re reiterating how uh, comprehensive and exhaustive this, this investigation has been. I think we heard this from witnesses who said they knew before they, when they, once they sat down with the, with the special counsel team that, that they knew everything. They knew uh, their texts. They knew about their emails. And that really does uh, underscore how exhaustive this was. And what Bill Barr does in his letter uh, today, Wolf, is he quotes directly from the Mueller report and he says again, let me repeat what uh, a little bit, a, a, sort of a different quote here. It says, quote, uh, the investigation did not establish that members of the Trump campaign conspired or coordinated mm -hmm. with the Russian government in its election interference activities. Now, that's the overarching finding. Uh, I think that's an important uh, sentence, and, and Bill Barr decides that he's going to quote directly from the Mueller report. What he goes on to say in this letter, Wolf, is that they're going to pour over the rest of the Mueller report uh, and then decide how much of this they can provide access to for members of Congress who obviously are clamoring for more, for the public that wants to see more of what exactly was found here.